everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to Train Sim World 5 and the Frankfurt folder route. And in today's video, we are going to run some intermodal freight and we're going to use the Vectron. Not the silver Vectron, not the bright green Flixtrain Vectron. We're actually going to use this one, the DB Red Vectron. I think it's really suited to this livery. I like it in red. Now, to the untrained eye, lots and lots of trains in Germany are red. Some look better than others. I think this one's really suited to it. It looks like a beast, doesn't it? It is a beast. We know it's a beast. We've driven it a few times, but it looks great. Absolutely looks great. We've got the intermodal uh, freight right behind us. We're at Fulda. We're going down to Fleden. It's about a 15 to 20 minute service, this one. It's not, uh, not very long at all. So we'll go inside and we'll get everything set up. Now, this red db vectron is a slightly different setup to the flick strain so if you've been driving the flick strain vectron you'll see the differences it's mainly around the afb etc now um, if you don't know how to set up the vectron specifically the flick strain vectron there's a link coming up in the top right hand corner to my tutorial where i went through the setup and how to get it moving Go and have a watch of that. This one is very slightly different, but I'll do it. I'll do it right here. So first of all, this part is exactly the same. So we get the master key on. Then we need to cut in the brakes, and this is the reverser. So we'll put it into forwards. Then what I'm going to do is set the lights to high beams dimmed, and then. This is your personal choice. If you want to use the AFB, um, I'm never really sure with freight trains whether to um, use the AFB because it controls your speed. But I, I'm i going to switch it on. Now, in this one, you just press... Num see the little dial? Just press number nine. AFB. That gets AFB RFB. ready to go. Um, in the flick strain vector, you'll remember there was a couple of screens we needed to get through to get to that actual dial. That's the difference that I was talking about at the beginning. I'm going to go to the back wall. The lights were already on auto, so that's fine. I'm not going to put the LZB on because that's all about speed. But as we always do on this channel, PZB and CIFA because we like to try and run it as correctly as possible right so we're waiting for 858 before we depart i'm going to set the uh afb to 40 as we depart let me just do that and of course we need to confirm the speed set on the top that's the important thing and uh we've just been given the permission to depart for fleeden 17 kilometers so i'm going to release the brakes and uh We'll start to uh, put some power in. You see the brakes coming off here on this screen, and as the power comes up there, we should very slowly start to depart. And I think pretty much we get up to about 100 kilometers per hour the whole service. So let's just wait for the power to come up. And there we go. So, leaving Fulda. 17 kilometres. So we've got the flashing 70, so... Uh, we are being monitored. We can release it though, so let's do that. And then we'll get up to speed. We can actually now go all the way up to 100, so why don't we do that? And of course, once we've done that, confirm the speed set. It gives us a little reminder that if you've got the assists on, it's always worth at the beginning having those assists set to come on. Especially with the German trains, there's little fiddly bits that you forget about at the beginning. And um, at the beginning of TSW, we didn't have those little hints. So it relied on, on memory. I remember there's many a time I got stuck on a service and had to reset because uh, there was something I just couldn't remember. So those little hints and tips are, are actually quite useful. So I'm glad they put those in. 
That's the Seifer going off, by the way. It's also telling me to turn on Elza B to receive more points, but we're not going to do that, as mentioned. Not with a freight train. Right, we're coming up to speed quite nicely. Keep an eye on the signals. One of the one of the best things I think about the German routes is the freight. I love doing the freight. I've never been as keen on the, the sort of stop start commuter services. But the German routes tend to be quite long routes and as you know, I love a good run. So the freight trains tend to go end to end pretty much. Apart from this one of course, there are a few shorter services. But you can uh, you know you can settle down and do a long end-to-end -end run with a freight train and it's good for learning the pzb etc as well so the fact we got this in red now oh, i love that look how nice and shiny it is <laughs> the attention to detail is great though isn't it i mean just look at this got the hydraulics there All the detail even down to this Siemens sort of technical data sheet on the side yeah it's very well done that there's a lot of effort put into the German stuff it does mean as well when I'm driving a freight train it means I don't have to drive a DOS door I cannot stand driving DOS doors I don't know what it is I, I, I think, I think over the years I've driven that many DOS doors. I've just got sick of it. Honestly, I was saying it on the live stream the other night that for services that have a DOS door on one end, I tend to want to go one direction <laughs> and not go back the other way because of the DOS door. <laughs> so this is good. Freight trains, I like, and we got so many varied routes. Um, if you're new to TSW. And you're enjoying this route this german route go back and have a look over the back catalog of german routes that we've had over the years there's some very very good ones and if you're watching this and you don't own tsw5 and you have a pc specifically for steam i will be doing a giveaway over the next few days i've got uh, Train Sim World 5 Standard Edition Key to give away. I've got a couple actually, but I'll be doing them one at a time. Keep your eye on the YouTube feed for the channel. And as soon as I schedule the live stream, I'll be giving it away in a live stream. So as soon as I schedule that, you'll be able to see. And then uh, the, the rules and the terms and conditions will be in the description of that live stream. So just over the next couple of days not quite sure exactly when but just keep an eye on the feed so if you are looking for a copy on steam of train sim world 5 standard edition you might be lucky enough to uh win one well not win it you don't really need to do anything you just have to be watching the stream really i'll explain all that though but just keep an eye on the feed so, how are we doing? We are 11 kilometers from Fleden. Shall we have a look outside? The weather is great. This is early August that I've got it set to. Dynamic weather. Looks really nice, doesn't it? This is the rear of the train. Let's just... Uh, if I can get out of the way of this bridge. There we go. It's quite a long train. Let's see if, when we get around this corner we can see... I am, of course, not keeping my eye on the signals while I'm doing this, but uh, there you go. You can see how long it is. And I see one coming the other way. One of my other favourites on the German routes. Out of all the high speed ones we've got, the I see one, I don't know. Just pretty neat. Right, so it looks as if we're sticking to the 100 kilometers per hour as our max speed, which is fine. AFB is keeping us at 100. So it's all good. 
signals are all green. What a pleasant little run. Playing on the PC today, just in case you were wondering. We've been doing a little bit of a mix between the PS5 and the PC. This is the PC though, today. And I hope everybody that's playing TSW5 is enjoying it still. I'm interested to know what your favourite route is out of the three new ones. I might actually put a poll on the, uh, on the YouTube page in the community posts and uh, get you guys to uh, to vote on that because I know we've got a large audience now from pretty much pretty much all around the world actually so it's not just I'm based in the UK but the audience is not just UK based so you know we could get uh, we could get some varied results there so keep an eye out for that and I will schedule that see for again cab's quite nice as well isn't it in the vectro quite roomy open the window a little bit of exterior sound coming in as well Cars following us along as well. Very nice. And we've only got six point seven kilometers to go. I told you it was a short one, fifteen or twenty minutes. Which is good if you just want to jump in and you've not got much time, but you still want to uh, you still want to play. This is the first time I've driven the uh, the red Vectron. I think it's exactly the same setup as the silver Railpool Vectron. Um, just apart from the colour, obviously the livery. The rest of it operates the same, but um, yes, it's nice. The Railpool uh, silver Vectron. Which was, uh, I think it was, that was the deluxe, that was a deluxe add-on for TSW4, actually. That runs on several routes. I don't know if this red one does, I suspect it might. I've not been on the other routes yet, just to see if it layers in anywhere else. But you can maybe, uh, if you pick a service for the Vectron on one of the other routes, you can probably select this one instead. I'll have to check that out. But um, yes, the Vectron, the silver Railpool Vectron did come out as part of TSW4 Deluxe Edition and uh, was was immediately popular. That it, The Vectron was a locomotive that players were really, really looking forward to, even before it was announced. I know on the forums and discords, everyone was asking about the Vectron. I wasn't familiar with it at all, as you know, I'm not really that familiar with German trains. Since being into TSW, I've learned a fair bit about them. I've obviously picked up how to use the safety systems, which would have been completely alien to me at the beginning. Um, I seem to be managing with that these days, apart <laughs> from an odd, an odd moment. Um, but everybody was right. The Vectron is a bit of a beast, and when you uh, take it on a passenger service as well, and you run it up to speed, you can really see its capabilities. This is this is just ambling along today. At 100 kilometers per hour because of the freight was slow today the pzb mode if we get a if we get a, a thousand hertz magnet we've got to be down to 70 kilometers per hour pretty sharpish as you can see there we probably will get one quite soon because we're approaching fleeden so just keep an eye on the signals i can see in the top right Ah, uh, here we go. I think we're going to get the magnet right now. So let's just take the throttle off. Let's we'll start putting some brakes in. There we go. So we've got the 1000 hertz magnet, so we've got to get to 70. Again, the little helper there in the top right hand corner now tells you 
what speed limit you should be at. So it's saying 110, 108, to be able to get down to 70 in time without having an emergency brake. So we're already at 70, so that's fine. But again, if you're learning piece of B, that's handy. Because you want to get so long to get down to the target speed or you'll get e-braked. So we have got Fleedon here. I think we're going off here to the right. Let's just have another look outside. Oh, it does look good. And we'll have some horn, shall we? We've got a 60 coming up, but we're all right. We're at 48 kilometers per hour, so no problems with that. an enjoyable little service. So, 700 metres and that's us done. Everything is looking good at the moment. Let's get the uh, the AFB down, shall we? And we'll just uh, confirm it. That will then keep us at the 40. If I reset the throttle, that is. Got some freight over here on the right as well, which has already been brought in. It's just sat there. Don't know if, has it got an engine on the front? Is that the silver? Is that the silver Vectron on the front? I do believe it is. So I'm going to take the throttle off. I'm going to start putting the brakes in because we do have a red at the end of this platform, and that wouldn't be good, as you know. few people uh, waiting here over the line, which is a little bit naughty. It's a good job we're not at speed. Let's just see if we can crawl towards that. Maybe we, we overbraked. We overbraked. <laughs> but it's fine. Because <laughs> it let it let us stop there, no problem. So there you go. <laughs> that was folder to Fleeden in the uh, the very attractive BR193 Vectron in DB red livery. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please do uh, please do give me a like and uh, don't forget to look for that giveaway in the uh, in the upcoming days. And I look forward to seeing you there on the next live stream. Take care everybody. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.